Nancy. Nancy, please, Nancy. Nancy. Albert, leave me alone. Why are you following me around? Leave me alone to do what I think is right. Nancy. Don't Nancy me. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. You know, I even regret why I ever got married to you. Nancy, I think you're over-sensationalizing this whole issue. How come? When your father gets sick, you're so ready to camp at his place and even, even turn me into his house girl as if I have nothing better to do. But now that it's my father, you want nothing to do with it. Nancy, it's not that I don't care. It's just that... Keep that to yourself. Nancy, it's my course. You know I've just enrolled and I'm already missing my first lectures being here. I can't miss anymore. Then go and marry them. I will not give up my father for you. Nancy! Nancy, Nancy, please. lost and alone. You need help. But I cannot help you, my friend. I am lost too. But I don't know who you are. Oh, sorry. I don't know who I am either. Good luck. If my luck changes, I'll come back. I promise. friend, this business of going off to play and have a good time when there's work to be done in this chamber must stop. But I was going to go after I was... I am going to bust that football if you're not careful, my boy. Now listen, I want you to go down to the chamber and wait the maze as soon as you're down here. Silly girls! Now what have you gained by laughing at me? You walk around cackling like hyenas and then you call yourself people. What have I done to you so that you laugh at me? You can't just laugh at somebody when he's not even looked at you. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Are you mad? What do you mean, what am I doing? Didn't you see them laughing at me? <sighs> I'll also want you to go this way into the dispensary. You know where you've been picking your medicine, right? I know, Mr. Washington. Good. But my back and my feet. Um, my daughter is coming. She will pay you. When? Look at the time. Huh? If she was coming, she would be here already. Now, let's not discuss this any further. Go in and do the cleaning, as I've told you. But for that money? And you treat a fellow man like that? You are not a fellow man. You are my debtor. You owe me money. And until you are able to pay, you'll continue to work here until your would-be wages cancels your debt. Now, end of discussion. Go in and do the mopping. Mr. Washington, you are not a good man. Ah, now I'm a bad man, eh? For keeping you alive, eh? <laughs> people, people, who is the bad man here? Him who has refused to pay for my services or me who has kept him alive? Hmm? Now, let's not discuss this further. Go in and do the mopping. Hmm. You, come. And this should be taken very seriously by all of you here. I do not run a charity organization. Okay? We go. Whatever you say, you are selfish. All I'm saying, Nancy, is that we shouldn't rush any decisions. Oh, good people. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Come, come, come. We are so happy to see you. <laughs> come with me this way. You, sit. I'll call you. Come in, come in, please. Greetings. Tea or cabbages? What? We don't have any. Your friend. Marim. Marim. Yes. Today you tell me, why are my children set away from school? See, I, I almost worked in the city myself, but then 
<laughs> I changed my mind. Uh, you're with the government or the private sector? My wife here works for a private medical firm. Mm -hmm. I've just completed my diploma in legal practice and I've now enrolled for... For a higher diploma in agricultural blah, blah, blah. Doctor, yes. I've come to see my father, whom I understand is being treated here. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that your father is not feeling well. But if he's here with us, he should be out of danger. What did you say his name was? Leonard Wakesho. Oh, Leonard Wakesho. I must have seen that file somewhere here. Oh, yes. Ah, yes, Leonard. You are the Wakesho people. Hmm. I should have seen that from the start. Nurse! 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 Ask that old man, Mze Lena, to come in here. And people should know that this is not old Africa where mangoes used to fall down from trees. And as headmistress, isn't it you who decides who is at home? Well, I've only just started as headmistress at the school. There's going to be a lot of changes. But I promise you one thing. No child will be sent away from the school again just because they do not have a uniform. So please, let's work this one out together. <laughs> I'm confused. Eh? You see, I don't have many books in my head, but I'm not stupid. I don't need a certificate to know it is a head that goes to school, not the uniform. Absolutely. One of my teachers has made a mistake. We are all working very hard, trying to cope with this free primary education. <sighs> my dear friend Washington, this day you have shown me what you are really made of. What did you expect? That a Macau you can just milk and get away with it? Papa, what has he done to you? No need to ask here. What is this? Your bill, of course. For what? You think I sold your father a dog? This is a clinic. You pay up and leave. What kind of doctor are you? I mean, what ethics do you follow? What ethics do you follow? Girl, if I was eating ethics, I would not be here today. And if it is ethics you want, please, go and read the Bible. As for me, I've got no business in being a saint. Now, can you pay up and leave? You have made my sick father work at your clinic despite the fact that he's visibly crippled. Now, your father falls ill and cannot afford to pay for my services. You want my family to fast until you come around? Huh. Let's not lengthen this discussion any further. Can we just pay up and leave? I've got some paying patients waiting outside there. Nas, whoever is next, be ready. These ones are leaving. Finish. We go. You will not cheat me, you thief. You will not. I mean, this is open there. You should be reported to the medical council. Look at this, Albert. Look at this. What kind of drugs are we paying for at that amount? <laughs> Don't call me thief because I can make you into yours, you know? I am a qualified pharmacist and I know exactly what you're up If you're that qualified, why don't you set up your own practice then? I may very well do that and run you straight out of business, you fuck. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Yes, nothing, man. It's just Dr. Washington having some fight with some girl inside the... What girl? Just new. The two are things the less, the less embarrassed you'll be later. Now, can we just pay up and leave my clinic? She's coming from the city. Do I know her? I don't think so. I think she's Leonard Wakesho's daughter. Do you know him? He stays just down the road. After the market. Just as you're going towards the Okudi's place. Yeah, I think I know him. So, uh, what does the girl look like? Oh, mm. beautiful. Very nice. All right then. Let's see. If I pay, I will be able to pay for my cost. Well, I can't pay. Uh, I'm sorry to interfere, but uh, this whole argument, it's not in the best interest of Mze Leonard here, who is visibly in a lot of pain and would be better off at home. So, uh, Dr. Washington, why don't I settle the bill?
Now it's dead. Oh, but sir, I've heard enough of that story. Now listen, I don't care your level of faggery, but one thing I know for sure, you're not going to eat my fruits and get away with it. Oh, but sir, look, look at my hand. I think I must have been beaten. Look at my hand. Something bad must have happened to me. BP, supervise this fellow. If he tries to escape, scream at the top of your voice. He's not going to get far. Now, let him finish the potion left for today. When he finishes, bring him home. We'll lock him up and he'll finish the rest tomorrow. What? Locking up? So you want to be stubborn, eh? Now, Pipi, help me. Tie him up. We'll take him to the chief. He's a thief. OK, OK, OK. I'm going to, I'm going to dig. I even think I used to dig a long time ago. It's only that my hand, I must have overslept on it, but it's OK. I'm going to dig. Now, dig. I said dig. I'm digging, I'm digging. Don't talk. Don't what? Don't talk, sir. Good. Now, you watch her. If he escapes, you'll be answerable. So you're the madman from this morning. Yeah? We meet again. I think we shall manage from here. You've already done enough by pain. Young man, it is me in pain and not you. If someone of us taking me home, why do you stop him? Thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate your help. Place is all mine. By the way, I'm um, Karis. Karis Mabuki. I run that bar over there. Mm, pleasure. Nancy. And my husband, Albert. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Here we go. <clears throat> I think uh, we should uh, stretch out his legs a bit, since he was in a lot of pain standing in there. Yep. Yeah? Here we go. Uh, just watch it. Watch your head. Watch your head. Here we go. There we are. Let's go. I'll squeeze back here with Papa. Let her sit in front. No, it's all right. You go on. I'll walk. Please, man, I can stay. It's perfectly okay with me if you want to use my machine. It's an easy machine to use. <laughs> an automatic. I'll walk. Let's go. Now, it might have been a trading center or a village center. You know, these things look alike. You may think it's a village center, and then it turns out to be a trading center. But this particular one that hey, I'm hey, talking hey, about... Hey, 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 We've been talking about where you come from, but up till now, you still haven't said anything clear. Just keep rotating around the same point, Kima Speedy. Kima what? Kima Speedy. You know, when you say something really, really fast, that's Kima Speedy. <laughs> okay, then let's leave it. But I still don't know your name. I can't remember. You may say that when I woke up in this trading center, that could have been a village center. But his people may have decided to call it a trading center when it's actually a village center. But how did I find myself there? Ah, I don't know. Or maybe I was drunk, but I don't usually drink until it is Christmas or Easter. Ah, I can't remember. You girl, you think I've forgotten what you did to me in the morning? Laughing at a hungry, thirsty person. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? She was laughing at me. A suffering person, that is bad manners, even you, you are there. You've destroyed everything for me. You and your must speedy speedies, you've destroyed everything for me. But he's my boss, you understand? She boss. wasn't laughing at you. What do you have that she'd even be interested in you? Oh, boss. Ah. Boss. <laughs> I'll pass by later to see how he's doing. That is, if uh, you don't mind. Not at all. Please come for Rashad. Thank you very much for everything. The pleasure is all mine. Anything for my father's friend and, of course, uh, his lovely daughter. Thank you, son. 
you have been very considerate. Greetings to Ms. Mboki and your mother. No, sir. I'll see you later. He's a good boy. Yeah. So when are you going? Where? Papa, I've just arrived. Going back with your husband. Is he still studying? All I hear about him are books and books and books. He must have finished them by now. He has enrolled for another course. Yeah. And when does he ever work, this boy? Did they tell him that we poet books? Papa, let's not talk about this now. I know what you're going to say. Okay. And when are you leaving? I'm sure I'm going to get fired. I'm not leaving you alone like this. You haven't been eating properly, and look at this place. It's a mess. I'm sure you've not done any cleaning since I left. Oh, just be fine. You must get back, back to Nairobi, and to your job. Papa, don't try to make me leave because I'm not going. I'm staying until I'm sure you're fine, OK? My job can wait, and that is final. Now let me prepare you some food to eat. You and your late mother have one thing in common. Always bulldozing me around. <laughs> Every man needs a bulldozer, Papa, to shape him. I swear, if you let me, I'll tell her that you had nothing to do with what I, I said. said. Leave that subject alone. Mm -hmm. Guiltless monster. I am going to chop your guts and throw them to the dogs. Come, you horn donkey. There's something British by the security of Mukabatingabo. We need to be hot hunger without your knowledge. Nam Nagula, Nam Nagula, Nam Nagula, Makuku, Nam Nagula, Nam Nagula, Nam Nagula, Makuku, Windu Langula, Baravara Langula, Tingui Langula, Baravara Langula, Windu Langula, Baravara Langula, Windu Vidu Gudanda Vimambe Kudi. You man, you must be a conjurer. What have you just done? You see, there's this methodology that is okay, always used. Okay, take it to the milking shed. Once this methodology has Don't been used... Don't talk much. We have a lot to do. Pipi, show this fellow what to do. Yes, but I'll... I'll... Stop yesing me. Just go ahead. And after that, show him Jiroge's room. That is where he'll be staying. Jiroge has just lost his job. But, sir, I thought I would be released tomorrow. You don't want the job? Okay, I'll give it to somebody else. I offer you work and you want to call me a fool? I suppose you want to continue stealing other people's fruits. Do you think I'm mad to offer you a job? Mze, I didn't know. I'm going to start right away. Uh, what are you waiting for? Pipi, go and bring the milk and can. Speedy, speedy. Don't call me Pipi. And Pipi, take him through the rounds. In two days, he should be able to deliver milk to all our customers on his own. And bring some water for washing the hands and washing the others. But first, let's check whether the cans are clean. Speedy, speedy. Albert, I'd forgotten about you. I notice. Uh, sit down. You look one out. Coffee? No, I have to go. Are you coming? And leave Papa like this. <clears throat> I think I'll give you people some space. No, you don't have to, Papa. I've just come to tell her that I'm leaving. Fine. I won't get some rest. You know I was meant to start my courses today. I told you, I have to go, honey. There's no choice. Do you want to come? You want me to leave Papa here sick, by himself? I just thought that now that he's out of the clinic... I'm not leaving him, period. I'll miss you when you're away. You weigh your options, Albert. I've weighed mine. You can stay, if you like, or go and finish your course. I'm staying. The course I'm going for is very competitive. I was even lucky to be admitted. That's what you said about all the others. Why can't you just get a job out of your many qualifications and earn a decent living like the rest of us? I'll get a job after this one, I swear. You know what? We've been down this road so many times. Do whatever you want. I'll be coming to visit over weekends. Your choice. I love you. Good to know. My regards to Dad when he wakes up. Safe journey. I 
can see you've done this before, Speedy. Pipi, go and bring me the milk container. Speedy, Speedy. Oh, no, 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 no. You've got it all wrong. This is going to make your milk go bad and your customers are going to get sick. But we've always used these. Jumps and doodles hide under there and they climb into the milk and spoil it. We've always washed them. Uh, you can't make them really clean. Jams will always have somewhere to hide. You need the big containers like this. We have those in the shop. Pipi, run and get one. Eh? And wash it, speedy, speedy. So, what do you say? Look here, Cheryl. I've sunk enough money into that business of yours. And frankly, I'm not interested in investing any more, period. Hey, you're not being fair. Fair has rarely featured in my vocabulary, miss. But you promised. And promises are there to be broken. I started that Ntumba business for you, and instead of thanking me, you're persecuting me. My lord, my lord, why are you persecuting me? That isn't funny. It wasn't meant to be funny. Now look here. I have some business to attend to at my bar. Find someone else to help you. Has this got to do with the girl who was in your car? That is going to help you. That is making you change. You want her. Is she the one who's making you turn against me? No. You are wrong. I'm tired of you leeching on me. That's why I'm leaving you. You won't get her, Karis. She's far too intelligent for you. Look! It's all smooth. We can keep it really nice and clean. Here, hurry up and fill it up, oh. quick. No, that is going to put more doodles and jumps into the milk. We need to keep the milk all clean, like this, by pouring it. Do you know this guy coming? He's a friend of mine and that girl's husband. And I'm going to tell him about you and what you want with his wife. Hey, man, I came back looking for you. Did you use another route or what? No, I used this very route. Ah, sorry. I assumed since you're on foot, You'd use the shortcut, so I passed by there. I'm sorry. Uh, that's all right. Good. Uh, are you heading to the trading center? I'm going there myself. Oh, thank you. So, uh, are you going to buy something? No, going home. Without Nancy? She has to stay and look after her old man. Yeah, right. The ladies know best to look after the sick. So why don't you get you the best seat in the last matatu, eh? Mm -hmm. 